water too. So this is an 18 and a half by 18 and a half square from these four white flags. And that is representative of one and 128th of an acre. The reason why we went with that fraction of an acre is because there's no math involved with this uh, conversion. Whenever we get done, there's 128 ounces in a gallon. So whenever we get done doing this and putting it into our bucket for the same amount of time, um, all you have to do is a one-to-one -one conversion. However many ounces there are is how many gallons per acre your um, pump is putting out. Okay, I'll go from back. <laughs> that will also hinder your calibration. <laughs> Just want to be comfortable and you want to be consistent don't increase your foot speed or trip on the hose this obviously has a pump on it so the um, the pressure is being consistent with a handheld sprayer like Krista said obviously there's no gauge so you have to kind of gauge that by the size of the droplets Put too much or too little, and we'll go over how much that is too much or too little. <clears throat> Dunny's Todd. <laughs> okay, so now we have a time. Make sure your bucket's clean, get anything out of there that was in there before. Okay, so we're going to spray into this bucket for the exact same, how many seconds did it take? 56.44. So she's going to time me for 56.44 into this bucket, and that's how many gallons per acre uh, your pump is putting out. Okay, you ready? So we have to have something that we measure that much. Huh? Don't spill any. <laughs> okay. So the best thing to do would be to take an average. Obviously, this was a little bit time consuming. It took me just less than a minute to do probably going to save you a ton of cash. So this conversion <coughs> is going to convert to about 50 ounces. So 50 uh, gallons per minute. So the importance of getting an average on that, maybe doing three or more uh, trials like this, would just be to take the average of, of the amount of water or herbicide that you're putting out so that you're sprayer and your measurements are consistent. Mm. Um, and the importance of that is, mm. Krista mentioned you don't want to put out or exceed your label recommendations. The label is the law. So you don't want to break the law. And the reason why you would want to calibrate <coughs> these small sprayers is because chemicals like Milestone that has amino can actually have some residual effect. And if you're selling your manure, 
or if you are selling hay off of the pasture or the hay field that you've just sprayed with that chemical that can, and you've applied too much, that can certainly transfer over into that hay wherever you're selling it at. It can be transferred in the feces and in the manure. So if you are in a situation where you're selling your feces um, to somebody for compost or for um, just a soil amendment, um, the crop, the desirable crop that's trying to grow in that can certainly be affected. And another thing that can happen if you um, don't have it calibrated properly is if you move cattle from a pasture that's grazing some of these um, heavily herbicided pastures, their manure from those grazing animals can be spread on maybe a broadleaf uh, clover pasture that you have, or maybe you have a perennial peanut pasture or something that does have a broadleaf desirable forage, and it can certainly harm and even kill, and again, um, decrease your profit, which is something that you need in your pocket. So now Chris is going to show you how to properly um, spray some plants. Do you have those little stickers? Um, what we've done is we have some cards here. The first question I want to ask is, out of these three cards, which one, I don't know if y'all can see them or not, this one has a very light spray pattern on it. Okay, this one, that's all blue, has a very heavy spray pattern on it, and Lindsay is kind of in the middle. What do you think the ideal spray pattern would be out of these three? This one? The one Lindsay has? How many people say the one Lindsay has? How many people say this? That's complete coverage. Are you, are you spraying to wet or? Well, that's what we're going to talk about. What about this? The light spray. The one Lindsay has is the ideal spray pattern because we're going to show you. We have some blue dye, and you can come up here if you want so you can 